Hi folks, Andy B2000 here with another Chrysler Grand Voyager video for you. So this one is about getting at the radio. So to get at it or to to any of this uh, this part of the dashboard, quite straightforward. What we need to do is we need to take off this panel here, which comes out and then we can get at the radio so we can remove that check the connections at the back of it it also lets us get at the other components like the dvd player on this model now again this is the 2004 chrysler grand voyager 2.8 crd but most of the models are fairly similar left or right hand drive in terms of the middle module so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to take out these top two fastenings now the easiest way of doing that is with a small pointed object like this. Now I found a screwdriver is a bit too big to do this job and actually it can damage the little pieces and you can see scratch marks. So you just very gently into the hole and each one comes out. And behind there, that reveals the two screw holes and down at the bottom to get at the two down here if you pull out the drawer slightly this plastic panel here is similar it actually pops out just like this and again normally you've got a couple of screws to take out there so now that that's out Take out all four screws. Two. And actually, on mine, as you can see, there's actually two places here. Let's get the camera to that one, which is actually for this grey plastic trim there would normally be one there and one there but they're already out and missing on mine so that should be all we need all you do now is get into the top or the sides and prise away like so and it actually will just pop out like that. It's just held on on a couple of plastic pops. So now we have that off, we can see the climate control module stays in place. That's the two connectors there. And that on this model is the rear heated seat indicator and auxiliary module. So you pop these plastic clips off, just straight, straight forward. All you do, Push the black clip, press, and they come out. Lift, plastic clip, push, pop. This one's a little trickier because the clip is at the top. And there we go, so we can take that module out. And as you can see, that then gives us access to the radio itself and the DVD or multi-disc, depending on what model. Each of these are then held in with another set of screws. And on the radio, four screws, like so. Once the four screws are out, the radio itself will just lift forward and you can get access to the connectors at the back. Now the first connectors to pay attention to are these two on the right. One is the aerial connection and one is another Chrysler, Chrysler specific connector. Those two are tight so you have to undo those before you can take the radio out any further than it is now. Go, that's those two connectors removed so you can see 
you just squeeze on one side and pull the connector to take that one out. And the aerial, you just pull and it comes out. They are quite difficult to remove and there's the two connectors as you can see. And we've also got our main connector into the radio. Now as a lot of people have found, these radios don't have codes. You may have got one in the manual, but typically taking these connectors off, it will not ask for a code when you turn the ignition back on. The code seems to be provided by the BCM, body control module, and you don't need to worry about that. At least in my experience on the last two Grand Voyages I've had from around about this year, 2004-2005. Now on mine, these connectors then go off to provide power to my Bluetooth hands-free kit. Now these connectors are the interesting ones because these seem very Chrysler specific in terms of audio. Now the audio lines that come from them don't appear to be standard left, right, front and back because they're provided by the Chrysler amplifier system. So you may not be able to just patch in and make them work. So again, it depends on how you get on and the different model of your car. So to put the radio back into place, it's just a reversal of what you've already done. Start off by clipping these connectors back into place. Slide the radio back in, into the hole here, and put the four main screws on. So we'll do that now. Here you can see that's the radio pushed back into place. We just put the four retaining screws back in. That'll hold it in place for us. And no need to over tighten these. They are just to hold it in place. So just hand tight to nip them up and keep them in place. There we go. And now we can bring the main panel back in. And the plastic clip, sorry, the connector pushes into place. And then put the locking clip down. And don't forget the third one that sits in at the top here. And finally, to push the fascia back into place, just line it up, clip each side in, and then just put the four retaining screws back in, and you're all done. Hope this video was use useful to you. If you want to find out more, don't forget to subscribe, and also comment and like this video. And once again, thank you for watching.